This question has given us the volume and they're telling us to find the height. So we know that to calculate volume, you would have to multiply 6 and 18 and h and divide it by 2. And that would give us 253.8. So now I'm going to make h the subject. So I'm going to bring all the constant to the other side. So that will be a multiplied by 2. So h would be 253.8 multiplied by 2 over 6 multiplied by 18. And when you put that into your calculator, you should get 4.7. Moving on to the next question, they're telling us to calculate the value of x. We found that our h equals to 4.7 and our base is 6. So x is over here. Because it's a right angle triangle, we can use the tangent. So tangent of x would be opposite, which is 4.7, over adjacent, which is 6. So our x would be shift 10, 4.7, over 6. You put that into your calculator and you should get 38.07, which I'm going to round to one decimal place because we're finding an angle. On to the next question, they're telling us to find the total surface area of the prism. So the prism has a total of five faces and we're going to calculate the area of each of these faces and add them up to find the total surface area. So we have two triangles, so I'm going to multiply that by two and that could cancel out, so... That would give me 28.2 centimeters square. And for a rectangle, our width is 18 and our base is 6. So 18 times 6 should give you 108 centimeters square. Now for our next rectangle, it would be 18 and 4.7. So 18 multiplied with 4.7, and that would give you 84.6 centimeters square. Now for our last rectangle, we know that that is 18, and this is this length. So to calculate that length, I would use the Pythagoras theorem. So 6 square plus with 4.7 square, and square root the whole thing. So 18 multiplied with the square root of 6 square plus 4.7 square. That gave me an answer of 137.1 centimeter square, which I run to one decimal place. So 28.2 plus with 108 plus with 84.6 plus with 137.1 give me an answer of 357.9 and I'm going to round this to three significant figure which is 358 centimeters square. So the total surface area of the prism is 358 centimeters square.